In this video, we are going to learn about data classes in Kotlin. The class that used for the purpose of saving data is called a data class. You can create a data class by using the keyword data. Data class cannot be open, abstract, inner or sealed class. The primary constructor of the data class can have at least one parameter. And the parameters of the primary constructor must be specified as either read only or read and write. That means you have to specify the parameters using the keywords VAR or VAL. A data class can extend other classes or implement an interface. When you create a data class, the compiler automatically generates methods like a copy equals hash code to string and component n functions for the parameters specified in the primary constructor. Because of the presence of these methods, by using data classes, we can avoid boilerplate code segments from our project. So now I am going to show you how to use a data class in your Kotlin program. So here I create a class called uh, employee. So this class is going to represent a data class. So there must be a primary constructor and the primary constructor must have at least one parameter. So here I specify the first parameter by using the, using the keyword VAL and uh, specify the parameter name as name. So this is a string variable. Now I'm going to specify a second variable. Uh, this is a read only, uh, this is a read and write variable uh, salary that is of integer type. So this class represents a data class. So I have to use the keyword data. So now employee is a data class. Now from the main method, I'm going to create an instance of the data class. Employee, pass the parameters. First parameter is the name and second parameter is the salary. Now we can print the name and salary of the employee. Uh, run the project. Here is the program output. So this is how we use a data class in Kotlin.